Hashtags have been around for a while, but do you really know how they work or what their purpose is? Have you ever really selected one of them and figured out what happens? Hashtags work differently on different social media platforms. And today I want to specifically talk about how they work on YouTube. But let me give you an example first. Many of you, I'm sure, have been on Facebook. Who hasn't, right? And at the bottom of some of the articles, I've got one I pulled up here. It's called Homeschooling Support, Teaching to the Child. There are some hashtags here at the bottom. And it says hashtag schooling support, schooling, and simply schooled. If I select any one of these hashtags, it will bring me to other Facebook posts that have the same hashtag. Now you might say, well, why would you want to do that? If you've got homeschooling support and you're trying to help people, why would you want to direct people to another page? Because I want, I think it's really important in any social media platform or community to have an attitude of wanting to help those who are in the same circle as you are. Trying to compete with people is, I think it's counterintuitive. You may not have everything on your page that they have on their page or in their group that you have in your group. So share. I mean, there's these are people that are interested in the same topics and you're just giving them more information and that's what it's all about. So let's go ahead and, and click one of these. I'm going to click homeschooling support. So here at the top, you see the hashtag homeschooling support, the one that was on that post. And it says there's a thousand plus posts available. So this person who's looking for support can look through a thousand different posts. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and just show you they're from different Facebook groups and different Facebook pages. Um, this one's even talking about unschooling, but they're talking about homeschooling support. Ocean View, Bethany Beach. So it's um, maybe some local support groups. Maybe people were looking for, for that, and then when they go through here, they, follow, they find them. Here's one from Australia. So homeschooling support is going to bring up a lot of different posts that you can go through. It's helping your followers, in this sense, on Facebook, find more information that, that, they, that they can get. So you get the idea of how hashtags work on Facebook. It's pretty much the same thing with Instagram. If you select it, it's going to take you to somebody else's Instagram posts. And then you can see something that's very related to that. What, how does this work on YouTube? It's pretty similar, but you're going to find the hashtags in a different place. So let me show you where you find them when you're watching a YouTube video. And I'm going to show you where I place them when I'm creating the YouTube video. This one is called solar grazing, a sustainable solution for energy and agriculture. How does it affect Amish life? Now, remember the niche of this whole channel is Amish. So I want to always have Amish in all my titles. It's not difficult to do, of course, but my hashtags for this particular YouTube video is My Amish Neighbors, which is the name of the channel. I always have that. Amish Life and then Solar Grazing, because Solar Grazing isn't really Amish, but it is another topic. So somebody who's not interested in Amish might come to this to find out information, and then I can lead them off to find more information if I select Solar Grazing. If they're really interested in Amish and want more Amish information, then they'll click Amish Life and get more information there. Let's go ahead and select uh, solar grazing and see where it takes you. You're going to have a whole page full of other videos that you can watch about this topic. So if, if you find it very interesting, you're leading your subscribers to other chat videos. Isn't that horrible? You're, you're sending them to other channels and other videos and they're going off your page. It's okay. You're, you're giving them a service of more information. It's a good thing. Let's go ahead and select one of those other hashtags and see what those look like. This time I'm going to select My Amish Neighbors because that is the name of the channel. Now this time I'm being a little selfish. I am leading them to every single video that I've made. That hashtag is going to take them to every video that I have that hashtag on. Now sometimes I might forget so that it may, it may not show up, but in general I put it on all of them. You can see here at the top, that's the name of the hashtag, My Amish Neighbors. There's 110 videos, one channel. That's me. I have more than 110 videos. I just didn't put them on all of them. That's okay. But if you scroll down here, you can see that all of these videos, you see my little profile picture there, they're all mine. So if somebody wants to see more videos on my channel without going to my channel, they can select that hashtag. So I think you get the idea. Now what I want to show you now is where you put your hashtags when you're creating your video. When you go under content or edit, this is where you're going to put all of your stuff when you're editing your description. So I like to scroll down to the bottom in my description, go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to pull that up. 
And you can see right here where I have my three hashtags. Now, did you notice I always put three hashtags? Well, that's enough. You don't want to overkill anything. Too much of anything is not good. Three is a nice balanced amount. It gives them three different directions that they can go. And you always put your channel and then two different other hashtags, which really relate to the content of your video. Now, what does it look like when they show up on your video? I showed you the one view where we were catching them right here. See this down here? They're also in your description. So let's scroll down and look in the description right where I put them. They're right here as well. So if somebody can't see really well and they don't see those little hashtags up there and they're in your description, they have another opportunity to, to click them from there. I hope this has helped you today because hashtags are really valuable. I really, in the beginning, wasn't sure how they worked, and I wasn't sure why I was doing it, but everybody said to do it, so I did it. So I have really recently been putting more thought into the hashtag and really trying to get more information for my subscribers so that they can go watch other videos that relate to that. I don't know everything. I'm not an expert on everything, so I am happy to send them to other videos where they can get more information.